Hi YouTube, and welcome to the next installment on my little car project. Uh, if you've been following along, um, I've replaced the upper control arms, I've replaced the CD axle, and we just finished uh, replacing the rotors and the pads on the front brakes, and now it's time to do the rear brakes. And one thing about the rear brakes, it adds a, another level of difficulty because you have the electronic parking brake. And when you're YouTubing, replacing the pads on, uh, or replacing the brakes on, the, on an Audi A4 on the rear, you see a lot of people, they, they, they go out and they buy a battery, or they have a laptop connected with a special cable that's like $350. Uh, I think I found a way to do this without spending money on a cable and the software or another battery. So let's get started on that now. Okay, this is what the calipers and rotor look like on the rear wheels of an Audi A4. Um, what I was talking about, the electronic parking brake, Is this unit right here and what we have to do is we have to apply power to this unit so it winds winds back down so the piston is all the way back down so it's not gripping the rotor because right now it's activated and it's gripping the rotor and we can't do a whole lot about that until this motor is wound down so it's not gripping anymore the first step in getting this electronic parking brake wound down is we have to remove this protective cap right here and I don't know if you can see this here but there's a little piece right here this piece has to be the piece has to to go up I'm actually gonna go like this see how I put pressure on it and you can just pull this piece right here, push pre put pressure on that, it goes up and down. And that's what releases this protective cap from the contacts. So let's just take a look and see what those contacts look like. I don't know if you could see that there. Let me if I shine some light in here. There's just two contacts in there. Okay, I'm gonna make a purpose-built cable that's gonna connect from my battery to the connector on the electronic parking brake. Really, the only thing I had to buy were these um, clamps, battery clamps that I got at Home Depot for $3.55. Um, these are splices. Uh, and I've had the tools and I even had the wire that we're going to use from a previous wire uh, lighting project I, I had to do so I've got about 10 feet of cable or of wire rather so we'll go ahead and get started making this cable not make that same mistake.
think uh, obviously these are going to connect to the battery. Now for the other end, and the reason why I'm I'm using these sp splicing uh, the splice is the connector on the electronic parking brake they are so close together i don't want to risk you know crossing the wires i mean this is connected to a 12 volt battery and obviously i i want to avoid the fireworks if i can so just going to trim these so it's close to the metal I'm also going to crimp these a little bit because right now they're a little too loose Pardon me, they're, they're a little too tight. They won't fit on there unless I, I, I crimp them and, and widen it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. Well, that's what that looks like. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one here. Okay, so now I have this one end of the of the wire with the two connectors that are going to fit on the electric parking brake and the other end I'm going to connect to the battery. Remember white positive, white positive. All right. Let's take a look at our battery. Okay, for those not familiar with Audi, um, the battery is actually in the trunk. So let's go ahead and access that now. Okay. Here's the battery. Here's the negative terminal. And there we go. And here's the positive term terminal. Right there. So we just have to connect. All right. I have those two connected. Let's see if this works. Looks like it's working.
As you can see, the calipers aren't gripping the rotor, and that's exactly what we wanted. So this cable worked, and it cost me about four bucks, which is better than buying a new battery. Okay. Okay, now that the electric motor is uh, wound such that the piston is not pushing the pads and gripping the rotor, we could uh, we go ahead and start replacing the, the pads in the rotor. And it's just like now, it's just, it's very similar to the front. Let's start with this 13 inch, uh, 13 millimeter. To get the pads off. Got the top one done. Let's try the bottom one here. Okay. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get my C-clamp and push this piston back down till it's level with the housing. As you can see now, the plunger is recessed back into its housing. That's exactly what you want. All right. As you can see, these, these pads desperately needed replacing.
Okay, and just like before, take a, I believe this is a number 30 Torx. And let's see here. Not, oh yeah, there we go. Ah. Boy, that's really on there. Oh. I think sometimes you just need a little more persuasion. All right, that seems seem to do the trick. Yeah, there's some rust on here. All right. Um, I wish I had a comparison, but the the pads and the rotor on the back wheel, as you would imagine, are are uh, much smaller and lighter than the front, and that that is the case. All right, we're gonna. Now we're going to put the new rotor on. Now, 
I learned in the Navy that if something isn't going in smoothly, not to force it, so I'm going to try not to do that. So now we're going to try and put power back to the electric parking brake so it winds it back up so that the pads will grip the rotor. try to reverse the polarity that might be what I need to do here there we go that's not going anywhere okay so that was uh me replacing the rear rotor and brake pads on, well, the, the rear brakes. Um, as I mentioned before, there was an additional um, degree of difficulty with that electronic parking brake, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, when I was watching YouTube and I, I saw these other individuals, they, they would go out and get another battery, and I was thinking to myself, well, I already got a battery. So, it, you know, even if you didn't have the wire laying around, uh, or the, the, the clips, it's probably going to cost you all of $10 to, to manufacture that, that purpose-built cable um, to go ahead and um, wind the motor in and out as you need it. So uh, the next step, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. And when you see me next, we'll be finished with the test drive. Okay. Okay, I think the brakes are, are fantastic. They're grippy, uh, smooth, uh, a much, much bigger improvement than where they were before. And to be honest, guys, the brakes weren't really that difficult to replace, the, the pads and the rotors. They really aren't that difficult. Uh, you could really save yourself quite a bit of money uh, doing it yourself. Uh, again, the Audi dealer. They wanted uh, approximately 15, 1600 to replace my brakes. So uh, I think all in, I was, I was under $400 for, for all four rotors and brake pads. So uh, it, again, it wasn't too bad. 
this is a good opportunity for you to save some money ok so this concludes this segment again guys if you enjoyed the video if you learned something I'd appreciate if you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time ok thanks guys